Okay, the next car I'll show is the high speed car. Now, on the floor um, that I'm trying to drive it on, this car wasn't very successful at all. Um, not because it's not built properly or anything like that. It's more the case of the motor that's in it. Um, the car's built for high speed. And um, it's a Plantrico conversion. I get asked a great deal of questions about these. You can get a Plantrico three or four channel receiver, literally just stick it down inside the car after you gut out all the plastic, as you can see, and then all you need to do is solder a connector onto the actuator that's already in the car, and then do the same for the motor leads, and just plug it straight in, and you've got a full proportional, full acceleration proportional RC car. This one I've gone a lot further, of course, because it's a high speed project. I want to push the limits of speed and see what can be achieved in this scale. So, the car's got um, a lot of different minor modifications about it here and there. Um, ball bearing front wheels. It's got uh, ball bearing rear axle. It's all got, also got the carbon fibre main shaft with a hollow. Um, it runs a larger pinion than main drive, so it's actually geared up beyond a one to one ratio. And um, yeah, it's a lot of fun to try and drive. I've never really had it up to its full speed. It also likes to try and throw the tyres off, which I showed in a previous video, which is always a bit of fun. So I'll just quickly show it again now. Yep. And that's only with a 120 milliamp hour battery. If you put a 130 or a, or a 160 in there, it's even worse. So, here's a little bit of footage of me trying to drive that on a slippery floor. Now, this is by far my most successful cocaine car conversion. It's basically not been changed or modified very much at all. Maybe that's why it's so good, I don't know. But um, all I really did with this car is similar to the other one, the high speed one. I just gutted out the plastic, removed the original electronics. I soldered a uh, plug onto the standard actuator. I also did the same for the motor, so it's all stock standard components. It doesn't have ball bearings in the front. It's got nothing changed in the back whatsoever. Um, the only other modifications I made really was a little magnet that I stuck to the front there just to help recenter the wheels. At higher speeds, the um, standard spring isn't quite enough. And I also put a um, magnetic coupling in the back where I just stuck a magnet inside the screw hole on one side and then did the same on the um, body. So I don't need to use a screwdriver anymore, I can just unclip it any time. Um, and yeah, by far, um, one of the better cars I've got as far as conversion to uh, full proportional goes. Please enjoy the footage. I hope you enjoy what you see next. Um, it's holidays, so I hope you'll be doing uh, more videos in the future. And um, hopefully try and get that one a week out. I've got so much backlog of footage that it's possible now. I just have to find the time to do the editing, basically. So, 
Yep, if you like what you see, please share, subscribe, spread, and enjoy. Oh. oh yeah oh. Ha, ha, ha. 